Is it true that girls are more attracted to a guy when they're on their period? I've been confused about this my whole life. Why do girls go to the bathroom together? Do most girls like nerds or athletes? This is going to be one that'll change your life forever. The question of a lifetime. Is it possible to move out of the friends? Oh, don't ask me that. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Austin Armstrong and this is Allison Shinaki. Boom, my um, channel. We are currently, yes, boom, her channel. I'm putting it in there. Editor, put it in Shameless there. Shameless plug. Put it in there, editor. You're the editor. I'm the editor. Found it. Yeah. So uh, we are currently in the car. We got something very fun going on. Today we are doing questions for girls. Basically a lot of questions that guys have had coming to girls and like, because girls are complicated. You know what I mean? I just, what I want to say to you guys watching is that put in the comments if you guys agree with me, which I know you guys will because I am speaking for all the women out there today. If you don't agree with me, I'm sorry. But if you're a guy, give this video a thumbs up. Give a video a thumbs up. Yo, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and comment down below as many times as you possibly can because we are shouting people out in every single video. Literally, Austin had to do this video. I literally begged him because I did a video for questions for the guys and you guys wanted Austin to do this for the girls so bad you blew up my comments. It was out of this world. So we're giving amazing. the people what they want right now. We're I'm just going to jump real. right into it. Are you ready? I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Whoa, overexposed. What's up, y'all? We're gonna take a second and thank Harry's for sponsoring this video. Without them, this video would not be possible. You got that morning routine, shower, shave, you know, that whole thing. Harry's can help with all of that. Let me show you, check this out. time we take this down. Allie's been getting on me for keeping it this long anyway, so you know what? I'm gonna, we're gonna take this off. If you really don't know Harry's yet, it's about time you do. Harry's was created to be way different than other shave companies. Harry's crafts high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles that make a close, comfortable shave quick and dare I say, enjoyable. And because Harry's insists that you shouldn't have to choose between a great shave and a fair price, they just give you both. Refill blades start as low as two bucks. There has never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash Austin A and get their starter pack for just three bucks. And that is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So you've got nothing to lose. Go to harrys.com slash Austin A and get that special offer. Do it, bro, do it. That's harrys.com slash Austin A. All right, enough of that. Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring this video. Y'all are seriously the best. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Let's get back to the video. So the first question is, we're gonna start out like, do all girls or do any girls like mustaches on guys? Yes. Really? Yes, it's all it's all personal preference thing. Like, I personally hate the stash. Shave the stash. Why do you need a squirrel on your face? If you know the reference, I just put it in the comments. But Carol, Carol's a sucker for the stash. Carol like, likes mustaches? The guy could literally be like a 5 out of 10, and <laughs> he's a 10 out of 10 if he has a stash. Really? Yeah. So no, like, no hate to you, you guys you that don't, like the stash. You don't like mustaches, right? No, I'm not a fan of the mustache. But the girls that do like mustaches, I've got two things to say. There's someone for everyone, and I mean, less competition. Because guys, I like. do all girls like chivalry? Like, I think deep down every girl wants a chivalrous guy. You know, we live in such a culture nowadays, and I have my own like company. I like to do all all my own stuff I'm very independent so like I understand like how girls operate nowadays like they want power like you know they're stepping up to the plate thrive Queens but also I think that no matter how independent you are as a woman like you want a guy to be chivalrous towards you and open your door and to be respected True. I remember a lot of girls who wouldn't want a guy to do that for them. Are you talking about the girls that are like, I can open my own door, I can yeah. lift my own bed, I yeah. can, yeah. Honestly, I mean, I could be wrong, but I personally think that every person wants to be respected. And when a guy respects a girl, like maybe if like you're not used to that because you've never experienced that before, or like you don't truly know your own value, like it makes you feel uncomfortable, so that you put up this front to save yourself. Oh. Like a false wall almost, so you don't get hurt. I True. Don't know. Okay. That's personally what I think. Because the truth is, a lot of girls are probably like that because we're in a culture that chivalry like doesn't really exist and it's not really taught and so we've kind of had to learn how to be that for ourselves and so I mean we like overcompensate for what the guy like usually does gotcha, so when a guy sense. does now it's like kind of weird gosh you that makes sense that makes me sad because it chivalry is awesome I love it at least me personally plus women are so strong they don't want to feel weak it's just not a weak thing though it's a respect thing no you know? yeah I guess you would call like a king or queen they have they have people that I'm do saying. stuff for them that doesn't mean like that they're weak pump my gas for me <laughs> Okay. It doesn't mean I'm not an independent woman, it just means 
<laughs> it just means you're the best. All right, good answer. I like that one. What is the best way to impress a girl? Ooh, it depends on the girl. And is this a universal thing? Like, is there one thing that a guy can do that will impress every girl, or is you? It's completely situation. It's all dependent on the type of girl you like. Okay. If you're going for those, like, you know who they are. If you're going for the gold digger, if you got money or status, you got them. It doesn't even matter if you're their type. Really? You got them. Say you have neither money or status, and you're yeah. going for the gold digger. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're probably not gonna get them, but you can try to be like mean and standoffish to them. Maybe that'll work. I'm okay. personally not like that, so everybody's got their thing. But if you want to impress like a girl like me, I have very high standards. I don't like really like a lot of people like that. If you want to impress a girl like me, I would say you should have goals in your life. You should have oh my gosh, a guy that respects himself, but also those around him. Like I always say this to Noah, and it's true. I think it says a lot about who someone's character is, not how they serve somebody that they like, but how they serve others that they can't get anything from. If you're going and like you're being kind to my mom, my sister, and like people that like the other day, like we had a painter at our house, and Austin made him a coffee. Like when I came downstairs, he could get nothing from this guy, but that showed a lot to his character. So I'd say good character, funny, tall, and hygiene. Hi. We're at Starbucks, by the way, so we're ordering the coffee. I got another one. Do most girls like nerds or athletes? Ooh, don't ask me that. <laughs> Bro, you wanna know the truth? I think yes. athletes are attractive because of their builds and because they have like drive in their life. Like they have goals, they're going somewhere, like they're not available all of the time because they're working towards something. Mm -hmm. And I think that's attractive to a girl. And you might not even know that's why you're attracted to athletes, but that is why you are. Okay. Um, and because sometimes they're jerks and girls sometimes like guys that like are hard to get. I would say, I mean, it depends on the girl. This this is me personally, I wanna speak for me personally. I like the athlete that can put on glasses and be a hot nerd. Is that a thing? Yeah, like I like a smart athlete. Not like the kind of stupid ones that are like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I like a smart athlete that's like hot and he puts on glasses and I'm like, oh. All right, guys, so we have our drinks. We're ready to park and finish up these questions. Uh, so guys want to know this. I've been confused about this my whole life. Why do girls go to the bathroom together? It's like, it feels like, this secret. it feels like, I cannot reveal this. no, you have to, you have to. This is something that all generations and generations of guys have been wanting to know. Please, you got to tell Like, Like, we are curious because guys don't go to the bathroom together to go to the bathroom together. It's weird. But why? Because it's weird. Like, it seems like there's a whole community. Like, one girl says, um, I gotta go to the bathroom, and then, like, five others say, I'll go with you. Yeah, because we want to get away from the table so that we can talk about you guys. Okay, wait, start from the beginning. This is interesting. Go for it. Why? Why do girls go to the bathroom together? So, number one, we're lonely. We don't like to do anything alone. Number okay. two, who are you gonna talk to when you're in the stall? It's just like, your friend. Number three, like, okay, when you go out to eat or you're somewhere, a lot of stuff is happening and you probably experience some things that like you need to tell your best friend or you need to tell the person that you're with, okay. but you can't because you're in a group setting. So before I forget, whenever I have the opportunity to go to the bathroom with one of my friends, I go with them so that I can tell them and I don't forget what I want to tell them. It's like, oh, what are really? we going to talk about? Yeah. Because I've always assumed that because it because guys don't like talk in the bathroom. Like when you said, who are you going to talk to in the stall next to you? That is not a thing. For a guy, it's like if you talk to somebody in the bathroom, it's like you happen to be in a conversation before, like out, but you don't really start conversations or meet anybody in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, it's just in and out. That's why bathrooms for guys are like bare minimum. And then there's freaking couches, TVs and mints. crap and girls room, mints and all this fun stuff in girls room, like a little community center. Like what is fun. this? What is the best way to respect a girl? Best way to respect a girl. I would say, I mean, in a relationship, you both have to respect each other. It has to be like mutual. Mm -hmm. But I would say like the biggest way to respect a girl, it depends on the girl, obviously. Okay. But to look at what she values the most and what's most important to her and then invest in that. Mm. And like that goes to like, okay, what are her boundaries? Even if like she wants to cross them sometimes because we're all human, like respecting them and like sticking to what was important to her in the beginning, if that makes sense. But I think it goes vice versa, like both ways in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But I would say like also investing in what's important to her, whether it's like sport, her favorite kind of like movies, her family, like just really making her feel valued by paying attention to like important things, not making her feel bound to her past, but actually forming something new with her, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, this one's an interesting one because I've heard about this. It's kind of like you've heard about it through the grapevine and I just, I gotta know. So oh you gotta shed some light on this subject. Um, is it true that girls are more attracted to a guy when they're on their period or about to get their period? <sighs> yes. Really? Yes, and actually, I didn't know that this was a thing until like every single month at the same time, I would call my aunt Jody and like start like crying about like this guy <laughs> I used to like, and she's like, Allie, are you about to get your period? And I was like, 
yeah and she literally told me like i guess it's like a scientific like thing yeah because it's when like right before like where we're most fertile i guess this is what my aunt told me and it like makes us more attracted to like guys but it also makes us more attractive to guys because i guess we give off like this like it's like something wait i didn't know that yeah really yeah it's like literally a scientific like thing weird like we like release something that like makes you more attractive to guys too that's really weird i know i didn't know that and I didn't even know this was a thing. But girls, if you are tripping and like you are simping over a guy and it was like out of nowhere and you're like, what the heck, I thought I was over him. Look at your time of month. Are you about to get period? Because <laughs> you probably are, sis. Hold strong. You got like a week and then you'll be over him again. I promise. Been there. That is actually really interesting. Something Guys, if you want to make the move on her, just like I used to memorize my crush's schedule in school so that I could, you know, oh prime time. I wasn't going to say this, but that was exactly out. what I thought about. Yeah. That was exactly what figure I thought about. Figure out when your girl's, you know, going through her cycle and then capitalize. I'm capitalize on that moment. The girls all hate me now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, then I might as well rattle these off because I feel like this is the most mysterious part of a girl, I would say. Does a girl want to be fully left alone when she's on that time of the month? Or is this depending on the girl? I would say, honestly, I have like really bad cramps and stuff. So if there was to be a girl that wanted to be left alone, it'd be me. But I would say, I don't want to be left alone. I want to like have company, but like with no stress. Like I want to hang out with somebody that will literally like bring me food baby me like lay in bed with me and like we don't even have to talk like i can be in pain with my heating pad but like you're just chilling next to me like eating with me that's good you know what i mean bro i've because i've heard of so many different stories of like and you've seen it all over tiktok of like girls who monsters and they they, they do not want to talk to anybody they're just like leave me alone I give mean, me food but leave me alone honestly it goes back to if a girl can like i don't even think it's like one girl's cramps are worse than the other I, or hormones are worse than the other i literally think it's a maturity thing i have in really bad pain when i'm on my period mm -hmm. sometimes i'm moody and i don't realize it but it goes back to i'm not gonna go off on somebody just because i'm on my period because i have self-control you don't have to like release that on people <laughs> austin's thinking it is mine of all the times i went off on it when i was like <laughs> No, I'm good. A lot of people have heard about this. This has been a legendary thing. We've heard about this for a really long time. It's been proven to be a deadly thing. The ick. Mm. Can you describe it to me for all the fellas I out think there I invented so this. that they can avoid this? What is the ick? I can't believe I'm about to expose myself like this. We need to know this just so we can avoid these situations I, to help all the brothers. I'm gonna be honest. I invented the ick and I honestly like, I'm jealous of some girls because there's actually some girls that do not get the ick. Like my sister Ella, she might be freaked out a little bit by a guy she likes, but it's no deal breaker to her. It's no big deal. Like she sees past it, doesn't really care. Me, man, I get grossed out by the grossest things and it's like a deal breaker. I mean, like I was even saying on my vlog, if a guy has like something in his teeth, I've gotten better because I realized it's not right, but I, it's really not right. If you're like me, put it in the comments. I know I'm not alone with this because mm. Carol is the same, mm. but if you have bad breath once, I'm done. If you have something <laughs> in your teeth once, I'm done. If your butt crack shows, I'm done. Oh my if gosh. you wear, if you wear an outfit I don't like, grossed out, I'm done. Like it is that bad for me. The it is that bad. One? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Like there was one time that like, you showed up in like those pants that I don't like. And if oh, yeah. a guy would have done that, I've done. Really? Yes. But I'm, I'm learning to not be like that because that's not right. Really? Like that's super superficial. And obviously if you're like that, you're going to miss out on somebody absolutely incredible that God has for you because mm. every single person is human, including yourself. And sometimes I have to humble myself and say, Hey Carol, see me from a guy's perspective and tell me all my eggs so that I humble myself. In your defense that, okay, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. Cause I used to be like that too. Like if a girl, if a girl like had not shaved her legs, no, no, it was it was completely done. But then I'm thinking like, okay, if they have a bad day or they forget or something like that, people, this stuff happens. Here's stuff here. happens. You're not gonna be able to like. There's gonna be times that like it slips you're, up you're like that. You're not marrying a Barbie or a Ken doll. It's just like it's a real person. It's a real person. Don't be so quick to write people off because people do like grow and change and like sometimes they do not like they don't know. Yeah. Sometimes it's as easy as like, bro, have you ever thought about this? And they're like, you know, I didn't really ever think about that. And then it changes from there on out. Or they need a, like a little bit of time to grow in that sometimes area. Sometimes they don't care though, and that's when you. True. And then that, at that point, you're like, I don't think so. But I was, I've always been the kind of person that's like, I'm always willing to grow in every single area, but sometimes I can't see it because I'm so close to myself. I just need somebody that's looking from the outside. Like Ali's told me some things about myself that I'm like, you know what? Never thought about that. I should probably change that. You know what I mean? All right, moving on. That was a good one. All right. <laughs> this is a weird one. I don't know if I was supposed to say this, but somebody asked it on, uh, somebody asked it on, on Instagram. Um, but 
you know, I'm just going to say it. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. But guys are curious about this. I'm very weirded out already. I'm very weirded out. I don't, I don't want to say it. I wish you could just read it. But Okay. Does it hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt when, when, you, the when you put a tampon in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys really wonder that? Yes. I mean, yeah. Go for it. This is very situational. This depends on the girl and the size of the tampon. Okay. It can be painful to put a tampon in. Okay. Especially like towards the end of your cycle because you're not as like, you know, down there. Depends on the girl and the size <laughs> of things. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Ask your girl. <sighs> All right, that was awkward. Okay, it's a normal thing. Definitely normal. You good? Okay. Why do girls say I'm fine when they're clearly not fine, and then they make because the guy? Because you should know. But then the guy, they make the guy feel stupid. No, because you should know. When he says you're not fine, then they're like all upset at you. But then it gets so confusing and all jumbled up. No, because you should know. If a girl's really saying I'm fine, it's probably because like it's something so obvious. Like there's some girls that are just extra. But it's probably so obvious that it's like you're either pretending to be stupid and like avoid something that you should bring up. Okay. Or like you're just stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. I just think like when a girl says I'm fine, it's almost like her invitation to like ask what's wrong. It's honestly, it's not even a bad thing. It's not really the girl's problem. It's more the guy's problem because it's like you don't notice that there's something wrong with me. So I'm saying I'm fine so that you can like it's like an invitation to like what's wrong Okay, I have a question here. I have a question Do you think it's right that a girl would do that instead of like we said the benefit of the doubt? Sometimes they just didn't notice and because if the guy's heart is truly I want to know what I did wrong So I don't so I don't do it again Do you think it's right for a girl to say I'm fine and not just say this hurt my feelings and to cause a buttload of drama instead of just figuring it out Do you think that's right? No, I don't think it's right. Am I guilty of saying I'm fine? Yes. All right, we're enough set, you know what I mean? We'll but, just remember this conversation you know, for later. No, it goes back to maturity thing, and obviously, you know, we are I stand. In maturity? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Dumb being called out. All right, so I'm fine means there is clearly something wrong, but you missed it and it was stupid obvious. More, more to me, like when I say I'm fine, it's not like in a petty way. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I'm hurt that you're so oblivious to the situation, mm -hmm. or that you're so caught up on yourself that you don't, you're not like considering how I'm feeling. Mm. Got you. You know what I mean? And it, it's it's one of those, like, we were even talking about it yesterday in my vlog. Like, you know those certain things that you want somebody to do, but you don't want them, you don't want to have to tell them to do it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like unfollowing their ex. Yeah. Like, you want them to do it out of respect for you, but you don't want to have to tell them to do it because then that defeats the purpose. Yeah. It's like when there's, like, an elephant in the room and, like, something's going on and a guy knows he's messed up and it could go both ways, too. And he's just not bringing it up or it's something so obvious. Mm -hmm. And he just, like, you confront what you care about. Like, he's not confronting it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not even, like, I don't even want to bring it up to you because in my mind, like, you care so little that you're not. Because... Mm. So, that which is sense. why it's like an invitation, like, that makes sense. you kind of like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. There also, there's a lot of times where, I, speaking from my situation, where I just did, I was clueless about actually what it was. True. And then my heart was like, well, I want to make she's, sure she's okay, but then she won't tell me what it is. And then you start, you're stuck in this conundrum. And I know a lot of guys are like that too, where it might have been really obvious to them, but then to the guy it was like, not on purpose because they didn't care, but because just sometimes, you know, over the head, over the head. All right, we're close. We're close. We're just gonna run through these real quick. Um, why do girls like flowers? They, they, you, you get them. You know, and they die. That's a great question. You get them. I and never they used die. to understand. I actually didn't like flowers. Now they're like my favorite thing ever. And I, I used to think the same thing. Like, why would I get flowers? They're just gonna die. That's like ridiculous. I honestly think they're just so pretty and it's such like an old-fashioned like type of love thing like to show up to a girl's Ooh. house with flowers it's just like you thought about me like now when I see them in my room or in my house like I'm reminded of like how much you care and how much you value me mm. and it makes me feel special every single time I see them mm -hmm. I like that you know what I mean old-fashioned love yeah so what you're saying is fellas you guys need to get your get girls your girl flowers, flowers. You get even if she says she doesn't want to get her flowers. Okay, this is interesting. I've been wondering this question for a long time because I feel like guys, it's more of like a guys thing to talk about girls, you know, like 
what is their favorite on a girl I guess the way she looks but I've been wondering the guy version so are the majority of girls like legs and butt or chest and arms kind of people goes back to the girls I personally because I swim and everything I'm a huge chest and arm person mm, is that like majority of girls or is there you think it's half and half or what do you think mm. I think Carol is more legs and butt. Really? Yeah. Okay. It depends on the build that you like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's same with like boobs and butt. Like some guys like boobs more, some guys like butts more. It's just... I know it's sick. You All right, so I mean? you're, you're a chest and arms kind of person? Ooh, this is a very big one. For all my fellas out there, this is going to be one that'll change your life forever. The question of a lifetime. The holy grail. If I answer The question right. of questions. Ali is speaking for all women on this earth right now. Girls hate me right now. They're like, this girl is so wrong. I can already see the flaming comments. You guys are flaming me for all my um, channel. Is it possible to move from the friend zone into a relationship? Is it possible to move out? So. I would say it is possible to move from the friend zone to a relationship, but not the brother zone. Oh. It's different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I would say if you were in the friend zone, you were never really in the friend zone. If you had the chance of moving to a relationship, there was always a little bit of some weird thing. It could be like 1%, but there was always something weird that like sparked curiosity. Okay, so it is possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there a method to getting out of the friend zone? Like if a, if a guy, if not, it's okay. But if a guy were in the friend zone, what would be the first step to getting out of the friend zone? Honestly, this is the truth. Like, I think it goes back to a maturity thing. Like as you grow older, you start to realize how few good people there are out there. And you know, everybody has their insecurities, right? And so when you find a guy, and it could be one of your guy friends that loves you despite your insecurities are actually like one of the most powerful things i believe a guy can do is not look at the things that a girl's insecure about and say these are her flaws but actually learn to like fall in love with the things that a girl's insecure about or maybe you don't see the same thing she sees and so you are verbal about how beautiful they are to you and like almost like heal that insecurity for her that is a way to get a girl to start thinking different about you and i'm not saying to use that in a manipulative way at all like to say something that you don't mean but when you're in a world filled with so many crappy guys and you see a real guy that like you get along with that you can laugh with and that values you and that loves you for you not a facade of you mm -hmm. or someone you're trying to be to get them to like you like it's a game changer Damn. Fuego, love it, that's awesome. All right, we're just gonna run through these real quick. Um, <laughs> is it a good thing when a girl texts extra letters at the end of a, uh, yes. a text? If she's texting extra letters or if she's typing in all caps, a quick way for you to tell if a girl likes you or not is is she matching your energy? Because if she matches your energy, if she's mimicking what you say, like she has a crush on you. Mm, okay, that's awesome, that's easy. Honestly, if she's putting like the cutie, she probably likes you too. The what? Like, you know, like the... Not the emoji, but like the... Oh, the, the little, like the heart? That's like the, the V or the, the greater than sign thinking, and then the like, three? No, the, the smiley face she types out. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, like the cute crap. Yeah. Really? Okay. Why is that cute? Wait, I really don't haven't think. you texted me that before? Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Do you like it when a guy FaceTimes you first? Early on in the no. texting phase. So like if, if you have like just met and you just started texting and he just all of a sudden FaceTime you. Yes. It's a turn on? Please. It's a good thing? I hate texting guys. I will catch feelings for you so fast. Even if you weren't like high up on my list, mm -hmm. if you FaceTime me right away. Also, really? one one points with a girl, don't ask her her Snapchat, ask for her number. Mm -hmm. And then FaceTime her. Because here's the truth. You don't really know who you're texting when you're texting. Things can be interpreted wrong. Plus. If you're gonna text me, 90% of it's gonna be my best friend. You know what I mean? True. Just it. True. Girls know, put it in the comments if you know. But when you FaceTime me, it's like, you're not wasting time. You actually have to talk to each other and get to know each other. I agree. I agree with that. I said that a little, I said that a little bit ago in, uh, in one of the, I think Jacob had a video or something like that. And the guys were like, what? You FaceTime all, like right off the bat? And I was like, you guys don't? That's a good thing. I FaceTime like right away. Right away. I don't text. What is the biggest turn off in a guy? Biggest turn off in a guy? Biggest turn off in a guy. Mm. There's a difference between like red, like things that like, like if he doesn't love the Lord, it's not even a question. Mm. But I think that's different than a turn off. Like a turn off to me. Oh, I don't care how much you love God, how attractive you are. You could be the hottest guy in the world. Literally the hottest guy in the world. If you're cocky, mm. you're like, 
literally a zero on my scale. Like, Whoa. like I literally view you as Dang. Hideous. as what? Hideous. Like there is there's nothing uglier to me than a cocky person or somebody that thinks of themselves as higher than others. Like if I am with a, with a guy and he like is belittling people, it makes me want to humble him. Dang. Oh shoot. Like so I want a guy that speaks highly of other people. Like almost like not in a false humility way. Like oh my gosh, I'm nothing. But in a way, like he's so confident in his worth that he can build up other people's without feeling intimidated. Yeah, and not like he doesn't have to feel like he's constantly trying to build up himself. Right. Because he's already yeah. Ooh, that's really good. All right, keep going, keep going. Um, 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 um. <laughs> is what a guy wear? Is what a guy wears really, really that yes. important? Yes. To me, yes. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay. Could like make or break a guy for me, and that's horrible. And I'm trying to learn to not be like that. But style is so important to me. Like a way a guy carries himself, like if he's keeping himself up, mm -hmm. I it's so important to me. All right, all right, fellas, make sure to get your good, get on Pinterest, look up some outfits, and get some outfits together. <laughs> I know I struggled with that quite a bit. I had I'm I'm still working on it at this point. You're getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad for a while. What is something that can get a girl's attention in a good way? Like if I'm seeing a, a girl in public and I like would want to go either, either talk to her, how could I get her attention without making it like, but yeah, what what is a, a good way to get her attention? Honestly, would I would say like in a group setting and we talked about this yesterday, mm -hmm. a lot of times like a guy will go and like talk to the other girls first mm -hmm. um, so that maybe she sees him in a different light, sees him laughing, smiling, all these things that he's liked by multiple girls. like. Mm -hmm to try to like, I don't know, prove himself almost. I would say, do not give a crap about any of the other girls in the room. Don't give them attention at all. There's nothing more attractive than a guy that is only available to you and only wants you. Like, seriously, have you ever heard that phrase that's, that says, something that's widely available to everyone is valued by nobody? Mm -hmm. I truly, truly believe that. No, like, that's very true. If a guy has his eyes only on me and walks straight up to me, does not, it's like we're the only people in the room, that will catch my attention. If you're confident enough to come up to me and like talk to me, ask my number, it's like, whoa. Like I've had guys do that that aren't even close to my type before and I'm like, dang. All right guys, that was it. Um, But guys, I always wanna leave you with some kind of inspiration, some kind of feel good, feel good. So Allison, do you have anything on your heart or in your mind that you would love to tell them? Feel good, To feel inspire good. them, some kind of feel good, feel good. I what mean, I, I have so many things. I guess like, I'll just share what I've kind of been learning in my life and maybe that will inspire you guys. Get it. It's been on my heart and I feel like God just put it on my heart how important it is to serve those around us and how important it is to like love those around us so well. And so I guess something I'd want to share with you guys. One of the ways I'm trying to love people well is by starting my podcast, like filming it for YouTube so that you guys can be inspired in that way and that you guys can feel known and loved and I can just pour everything I have into you guys because you guys mean the world to me. But at the end of the day, like we don't bring anything with us. We don't bring following, money, like houses, cars. None of this stuff matters. We could literally die tomorrow. And the only thing that matters is how we loved people and the legacy that we left here. I would encourage you guys to live every single day like it's your last and love those around you so well and so intentionally and to genuinely see people. Not just, oh, I'm going to do the bare minimum to like talk to you small talk, but actually invest in people. And it's going to be a sacrifice because a lot of times if you're like me, you just like to hermit to your room because you have no free time. But really invest in those around you because you have no idea what your words and your encouragement can do in somebody else's life. Awesome. Y'all love you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you again next time. Bye. -bye.